The VW Group has a clear distinction for its core brands. Volkswagen manufactures people's cars in mass. Porsche makes true sports cars with unrivaled driving emotions. While Audi is a technological powerhouse that blends the latest innovations across all vehicle segments. Right now we'll go over the 2022 lineup of this German brand. Spoiler alert, you will see plenty of EVs, high-performance cars and imposing SUVs. All of them equipped with the latest know-how from Ingolstadt. Before we get to the video, subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, ring the bell and turn on all of the notifications. We start the engines now. Audi A8 Trying to keep up with the king, Audi refreshes its largest limousine right after the debut of the all-new Mercedes S-Class. The most noticeable changes are focused around a new grille design, additional wheels, broader color palette, high-tech digital matrix LED headlights and OLED rear lights on the top spec models. As usual, the powertrain selection comes in four flavors. 3.0-liter V6 diesel or gasoline, a plug-in hybrid with a bigger 14.4 kWh battery, and a detuned 4-liter twin turbo V8 from the upcoming S8 with 460 horsepower. The saloon will be offered in 5 and 4-seater versions. The latter one will have a rear central console, new rear seat infotainment, heated and ventilated seats, and even a heated foot massage. Additionally, in 2022, the Audi A8 gets a China-exclusive Horch Edition that wears a unique green-gray paint scheme, rides in stunning 20-inch monoblock-style wheels, and stretches the wheelbase by 5.1 inches to 214.5. Audi RS3 Sportback Audi's hottest hatch transitions to the second generation, drawing from the already presented A3 and S3 models. But its true purpose is to rival the mighty Golf R and Mercedes-AMG A45. The Saudi gets new grille and revised LED headlights that can be optionally upgraded to matrix units with a checkered flag design. There are two exhaust pipes in the rear and massive diffusers. Its secret weapon, though, is an updated 2.5-liter inline 5 cylinder with unique sound and an all-new RS torque splitter with drift mode. The revised mill delivers 401 horsepower, peaking earlier at 5600 rpm, and the torque parameter now reaches 369 pound-feet. The car speeds to 62 and 3.8 seconds, while with the optional RS dynamic package, it can reach 180 miles per hour. The performance equipment list includes dynamic exhaust and six-piston steel brakes that can be swapped for carbon ceramic units. There is also an arrest-tweaked suspension and progressive steering. Audi R8 V10 Performance Rear-Wheel Drive Initially offered only an all-wheel drive, the R8 lineup gained a permanent rear-wheel drive member in 2019. This year, it gets enhanced with some of Quattro's high-end features and gains more power. The V10 Performance Rear-Wheel Drive has an adapted sport suspension and lightweight 19 or 20-inch wheels, housing either 18-inch steel or 19-inch ceramic brakes. Of course, the true star of the model is the naturally aspirated 5.2-liter V10 that makes the same 570 horses as in the Quattro, but it gets slightly less torque, 406 pound-feet. Paired with a 7-speed S-Tronic, it produces 204 miles per hour speeds and can accelerate the car to 62 in 3.7 seconds. Finally, there is dynamic steering, while inside it gets new optional bucket seats and a 12.3-inch infotainment. Audi Q4 e-tron and Q4 e-tron Sportback the growing e-tron series from Audi is welcoming two newcomers, both built on the dedicated MEB platform from the VW Group. The Q4 and its Sportback versions will be sold in the 35 and 40 single-motor rear-wheel drive variants and a dual-motor 50 quattro all-wheel drive configuration. The flagship peaks at 299 horses and 339 pound-feet, gets a 77 kWh pack and covers from 275 to 300 miles on a charge. It is also the fastest model in the mix, taking 6.2 seconds to sprint from 0 to 62 mph and reaching a maximum velocity of 112 mph. 
The SUV supports fast charging at 125 kilowatts, yet an adaptive suspension, and DPU and innovative cabin with the latest tech from Audi, like the world's first augmented reality head-up display. There is a square rear steering wheel with touch controls, a toggle switch gear selector, Wi-Fi hotspot, 10-inch infotainment, and instrument screens. If you want to see more informative lineup reviews covering your favorite car brands, make sure to smash the like button and ask for more in the comment section below. We do respond to every request. Let's keep rolling. Audi RS e-tron GT Built on the J1 Performance EV platform, this is the first all-electric RS model in the history of Audi's performance sub-brand, and also the so-called affordable version of the Porsche Taycan. In this guise, the standard 469 horsepower of the e-tron GT are raised to 590 HP. Plus, the so-called overboost function can charge up the launches by another 50 ponies. The drivetrain incorporates a planetary 2-speed transmission for effective torque transfer at 0 to 60 sprints of 3.1 seconds and efficient operation at 155 mph top speed. The two motors will bring into motion all four wheels via the electric quattro all-wheel drive system. Plus, the optional rear-wheel steering improves handling at low and high speeds. The Saudi benefits from an 800V battery pack architecture Hence, you get 232 miles of range and ultra-fast recharge at 270 kilowatts. Audi RS3 Sedan The sedan version of the RS3 sacrifices the hatchback practicality for a small boot, and it is the only version of the model that will be sold in the US. Since we have already covered the major performance changes, let's look more closely at the trim crates. After the launch edition is sold out, the model will be offered in three more crates – standard, carbon black, and four-sprung. The base package would bring 19-inch alloys, Nappa leather upholstery, dual-zone climate, 12.3-inch virtual cockpit, and a 10.2-inch MMI. Expectedly, the blacked-out trim adds darkened matrix LED headlamps, black alloys, front spoiler, and carbon fiber interior finish. The launch and four-sprung trims sport driver assistance package, panoramic sunroof, adaptive suspension with drive select, and Audi's comfort and sound pack. The interior of the RS3 has raised your feel with sport seats, contrast stitching, and a standard 12.3-inch Audi Virtual Cockpit Plus. Audi A6 e-tron Built on the new Audi Porsche PPE platform, this concept previews a premium electric sedan that will exist in several performance versions. The production model should go on sale by 2023, and according to Audi, it will look almost exactly the same as the car that you see on the screen. This means an attractive fastback silhouette with a drag coefficient of 0.22, a closed-off single-frame grill, digital matrix headlights, and large 22-inch wheels. On the drivetrain front, the car will benefit from two electric motors and an 800V battery architecture. This will allow to charge the 100kWh battery pack in 25 minutes at the rate of 270kW. The maximum target range is set at 435 miles in the WLTP cycle, while the peak system output should reach 476 horses and 590 pound-feet. Audi RS Q e-tron With this futuristic off-road SUV propelled by electricity, Audi wants to beat all of the pure ICE competitors at the 2022 Dakar Rally. In addition to the unique carbon fiber bodywork and monster wheels wrapped into 37-inch BF Goodrich tires, the RS Q e-tron prepares to win with the help of an innovative three-motor all-wheel drive powertrain with a 50 kWh battery pack. Two of the Formula E motors are located at the axles producing 408 horsepower combined. Each is paired with a single-speed racing transmission with a software-based limited-slip differential. The third motor acts as a generator and is connected to the 2-liter turbo engine that can both recharge the battery to extend the range or spin the motor for extra 272 horsepower. 
With the setup, the RSQ e-tron sprints to 60 and 4.5 seconds and reaches 106 mph speed. Audi SQ5 Sport back TDI Even in Europe, high-performance models powered by diesel engines are a rarity. However, this does not stop Audi from consistently offering their SQ5 Sportback Coupe SUV, not with the US-bound gasoline, but with a 3.0-liter V6 diesel. In 2022, the model undergoes a facelift, following in the footsteps of the rest of the Q5 line. It brings a tweaked front grille, exclusive rear diffuser, new matrix LED headlights, and optional OLED taillights. You also get 20 or 21-inch wheels, metallic exterior paint, and S-Sport suspension with damper controls. As before, the diesel engine produces 341 HP, and it is made more efficient with the standard melt hybrid tech. Other highlights of the SQ5 TDI include its black or grey interior with contrast stitching, aluminum or carbon fiber inlays, and a 10.1-inch multimedia. Audi Grand Sphere and Sky Sphere Concepts among the all-new models and facelifted bestsellers, Audi's lineup was recently spiced up with a brand new family of Sphere concepts. The Grand Sphere previews the upcoming all-electric replacement for the A8 flagship sedan, while the Sky Sphere is a unique design study of a futuristic GT with a variable wheelbase length. Both models get powerful 800V EV architectures with 720 and 632 horsepower respectively while their large batteries with up to 120 kWh capacity ensure true grand touring potential. These concepts preview Audi's major focuses for the upcoming production vehicles, like adaptive air suspensions, all-wheel steering with ride-by-wire technology, level 4 driving autonomy, selectable driving modes from comfortable cruising to bullet-fast acceleration, abundance of screens and advanced lighting systems. Let's hear your personal rating of the best German luxury car brands in the comment section below. Is it Audi, Porsche, BMW or maybe Mercedes? Smash the like button and tell us what other 2022 lineups you would like us to cover in the upcoming episodes. Check out the links on the screen and in the description, we have more informative videos out there. See you soon!